What's up everybody, it's Rusty Clutch here and welcome back to Pikmin 2. In today's episode, we will be returning to the Perplexing Pool. In the last episode, we uh, completed the Awakening Wood, which is nice, because now we don't have to return there anymore. But there's still a lot of work to do in both the Perplexing Pool and the Impact Site. I believe that's what it's called in this game. I might be confusing that with the first game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's not too much of a plan today. There is two things that I want to take care of, and then hopefully I get to the cave. If not, then it'll just be kind of more of a chill day. So we're going to take out five blues right now. Nothing crazy. Um, normally, I don't use a lot of game breaks because, one, I don't know a lot of them, and two, I'm not very good at them. But there is one in this game that I do know how to do decently well, so, so we're going to get five tries at it. So this is the first try. Did I make it? No, I did not. He's chasing after the stupid fish. <laughs> so this guy's saying, A large rock sits in a reservoir of water. May I interject here? I have been observing the two of you working together. You have been cooperating well. Yet, to face the dangers ahead, you must be free of the shackles of a boss-worker relationship. Learn to use X to separate and Y to change leaders. So he's just giving me another tutorial on how to play the game. Okay, so I messed that up because he went after the fish, and we don't want him to go after the fish. We want him to go after that rock in the middle there. So did he make it? Okay, no, he's going after the fish. Okay, I got three more tries, guys, three more tries. This is just me trying to break the game and not actually doing things the way the game. Oh, he's on it. You see, you see him smacking his head? All right, we're good to go. So I'm just going to throw these two guys right there. Don't really need them for right now. Just let them chill. And I'm going to do other things. Let those guys kind of just hang out there for a little while. You guys will see right now in a little bit why I did that. But um, if you guys paid attention to the other episode when there was a drain clog and we unclogged it, the water went away. So pretty soon you will see why I did that. Uh, but as of right now, we're going to take the rest of our blues, the 30 of them. And we are going to come over here and do some other stuff. Actually, I should probably leave a captain here. Yeah. And I'll take Louie, because Louie's blue. He'll take the blue Pikmin. So there is this Wallywog here. And I do want to get rid of it. Come here. Okay. And then chuck a couple. Get a couple on this bad boy. Alright, come here, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. And as soon as he lands, just start chucking him. Hey, there we go. Cool. So not too worried about taking him back. Just need to kill him. I'm going to kill this guy too. Uh, but I really want him to come out of the water. Just because he's more lethal when he's in the water. I believe he's able to jump more when he's in the water. But I may be wrong. So let's just try to take care of him real quick. Throw these buys. Throw these buys. <laughs> I was going to say throw these bad boys and throw these guys on him. Oh, shoot. Did I drop one under him? No, okay, cool. All right, perfect. And now we're going to take care of this bridge right here. Um, there should be some stuff here. No, there isn't. Ah, perfect. Okay. So we'll let these guys take care of this here. So you're probably asking yourself, there's nothing here. Why would you need to break this bridge down? And it's because of this right uh, here. That guy. We got to get that ragu top. But we can't get to him uh, by normal means because there's actually a fence over here. An electric fence. So what we have to do is we have to throw yellow Pikmin over here, call them, and lead them to this. Um, there is, you can uh, throw them from here over the wall, but it's another one of those like game breaks. It's not technically a game break, but it's a little more complicated than doing that. Uh, you got to be more precise and really don't want to deal with that. So we're going to come over here. Oh, shoot. Son of a gun. Just realized these guys are right here. Yeah, boys. How about you? You guys want to, how about you pick on somebody your own size, huh? Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Come here. No, he killed one. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I only have like so many blue Pikmin. I'm going to have these guys take these things back just uh, so that I can get some more Pikmin built up for the blues. Um, and then I think I have decent numbers for the other ones. I'll leave these for like the yellows or the reds, these right here, especially because this is a red tablet. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's like shoving that guy out of the way. I'll put these blues away for right now and 
Actually, no. I'm going to hold on to the blues because there is another Wally Wog. Actually, no. I can I can put the blues away. I'm going to take the yellows with Olimar real quick. I'm going to take the 38 yellows so that they can take care of that fence. And then once they take care of the fence, I'll have them take care of the Wally Wog as well. Because there's another Wally Wog around the corner there. Um... And he's in the water, but we can lure him out of the water and then take care of him. Uh, I the only thing is like I really don't like fighting with yellows because when you throw yellow, it go, like they fly higher, so there's more of a delay. Um, so I just gotta make sure I get that timing down right now, especially with the Wally Wog, because the last thing you want to do is throw them under the Wally Wog, because then he just smashes them. Uh, just throw these bad boys over. Okay, actually I'm gonna kill you real quick. And get my three yellow Pikmin as flowers. Cool. Okay, so I'll throw these guys over real quick. Why are you guys not going over the fence? Come on. Come on, go over the fence. Okay, there we go. And then just use the C stick to, to throw them faster. Okay, that's that, that was like actually slower, but whatever. So you call them like that. And then you go around this fence. You go around town. And you bring them all the way over here because they're following you. They just kind of can't see you. Oh, there we go. Finally. It takes a while because there's only one Pikmin, but you can get it done. So what you actually have to do is you have to bring yellow Pikmin. And okay, let these guys take care of this. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bring yellow Pikmin and have them uh, knock down that. Okay. So there's a fence, there's, a, there's an electric gate, and you have to knock that down. And there's a bridge, so you have to build the bridge, take the yellow Pikmin, break down the gate, then go in there and throw the blue Pikmin. But to make things faster, if you just throw a blue Pikmin in there and let him go away at it, it takes him a little bit of the day, but you don't have to wait for him, you know? Or you don't have to, like, do all that whole, whole shebang, or whole spiel. So this is just a way of me speeding up the process. I do need these blue Pikmin, because I'm going to have to take that item out, so... Let's uh, pluck these quickly. Um, kind of paranoid because I don't want my Pikmin to drown and die. So we're just going to go back real quick. Olimar. Okay. They're still going. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. 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 And then back, back, back to Olimar. Okay, cool. Because as soon as this is done, they're going to try to walk to me because I'm close by. Or they might just slip in, and <laughs> I will lose a, a lot of yellow Pikmin that way. So, let these guys take care of this. Call them, and then I'm just going to store them right here. Because I believe I need them. Yeah, there's another gate over there, so just kind of hold on to them for right now. So, there we go. Alright, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Haha. -ha. Okay. All right, you guys stay right there. Hey, Louie, bring them blues. So we're going to take the blues with me. And we're going to come over here. Actually, I need to break down that gate so I can get those blues back before the day is over. Otherwise, I'm going to leave blues behind. And that is a big no-no for me. <laughs> so I'm actually going to kill this Wally Wog for now. Grab that part and then take the yellows to go take care of the other gate. So I can get those blues back before the end of the day. Oh no. Oh god, I thought he was just going to get smushed. I was like, this is how you die, bro. This is That's it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Come on, throw a couple on this guy. No, don't go underneath him. This is such a weird angle to be throwing him from. Because I can't really see like his face. Oh, cool. He died. All right, dope. Okay, so all 43 of these. So we're going to set these guys on this item right here. The, what was it? It's a, like a cap to something. The ragu. Isn't that like tomato sauce? Or something like that, or tomato paste? Nonetheless, we're going to grab the rest of our Pikmin and head back and take care of that electrical fence. We take care of the electro electrical fence, grab the blue Pikmin, and then probably call it a day at that point because it's going to take a little bit to knock down the fence. I can actually get one more part today. Um, today's pretty much turned into a setup day, so I'm going to leave these guys here. What the hell happened to that that guy? Oh, the blue one tripped. Okay, yeah. I was like, what is he doing into the yellow group? He was like bowing or something. <laughs> so 
this guy right here that's floating around, as you can see, there's no more water. Yay! It makes our life easier. Uh, he actually has a part inside of him, so we'll get in a little bit. So you had to actually come over here, build the bridge, and then put the yellows. But because we're, you know, cunning little fellows, we can take care of this ahead of time. So we'll let those guys do that. Switch to Olimor. Oh, look it. What are you doing, bruh? Do you trip or what the heck? Why do heck? And then there's some stupid... Uh, what are these? Sheer wigs here. So let's take care of these guys. Throw you, throw you. Uh, no, get him! Oh, gosh. No, he actually ate it. You son of a gun. Alright, whatever. We're gonna come over here. And we're gonna try to... Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so we're gonna try to take out this guy before the end of the day. Optical illustration. I'm actually going to... Oh, 70% of debt recovered. Wow, we haven't seen one of those above ground since like the very beginning. Uh, I don't think we've seen one of those, period. Because usually we get them like one of those right after we get out of a cave. But I guess we were really close. So I'm going to take all of my blue Pikmin here. And we are going to take on this guy. I forget what he's called. I'll put up on screen right now, but it's something funny. Like Wrangler or something. So I'm just going to throw these on his butt. So you can't actually attack him in the front because he'll eat the Pikmin. But if you throw him in the back, he dies pretty quickly, <laughs> as you can tell. So that's the part we needed. We're going to take that back. I think I'm going to give the yellows that 10 pellet just so that I can get some more yellows. Because I do need to build up my numbers quite a bit. Um, I'm actually going to take care of this Wally Wog over here. Just because I have some extra time. Hey, all right, and take care of you. I like how it splats water puddles, even though that there's like no water here. I don't know if that's like always a thing, but it might be a bug because of there used to be water here, but there's no longer water. And he's dead. Okay, so now we can actually oh, those little blue Pikmin that were holding the <laughs> the little uh, what are these polywogs or whatever? Is that a that's a Pokemon? A polywog is a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna go in there just yet. That's actually probably one of the harder rooms or the harder caves uh, in the game, at least for me, um, or at this level or at this point in the game, it's pretty difficult. So this is an aquatic mine, which is just a bobber, uh, something bobber, gimme topper, something like that. But I let the yellows take care of this ten pellet, and also that like back end of the weird looking frog thing. And then we're going to have the reds just grab a couple things just so we can make our numbers a little bit bigger. You know, uh, it's always good to raise up the numbers at the end of the day. Because we usually turn these Pikmin into other Pikmin. You know, purples and whites, so that makes it better. So put all these bad boys away real quick. Just so we can make some room and get some reds out. Let them go in there. Alright, pull some reds out. I mean, we're sitting pretty decent with the reds. So we don't need too many, but it's nice to uh, just grab a couple, especially because we have this red five pellet, and so we'll get like double for it, and also Wallywog. All right, double reds. So I one thing that I like in this game is that they made it so that the color on top tells you where the the item is going. So if it were yellow, it'd be going to the yellows. If it were blue, it'd be going to the blues, and because it's red, it's going to the reds. Because in the first game it used to just say red like it, it used to just be red so like you never kind of really knew where it was going uh you would just be like oh like i'm assuming it's going to like the one that has the most pokemon or po pokemon most pikmin on it but if you don't know how many pikmin you put on it then you don't really know which onion it's going to so it's nice that they added that little feature in this game so i'm going to put the reds away oh uh, there comes the countdown Put the reds away, put the yellows away, put the blues away, and then call it a day. Look at me, rhyming and stuff. Not too worried about them not all being uh, flowers, because, like I said, when we're in the caves, we get a lot of nectar, usually. So, we can just do that while we're in the caves. So, yeah, zero of zero, so that means we're good to go. How about we just end the day ahead of time, instead of waiting for the countdown. So, our grand total is 7,173. Pretty good.
Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. So I'm not too sure if it was last episode or two episodes ago when I got the special ending at the end of day. So I looked that up, and actually that is that is I, it was a special like uh, kind of sound ending. It's a different version of the ending song. So what happens is that uh, depending on how many parts you get at the end of the day. So if you get zero or not parts items, if you get zero items or treasures, you get like a really sad kind of version of it. If you get anywhere between 1 and 14, you get the regular one. If you get 15 items and above in one day, you get like the triumphant one, which is what we got because we had like 16 items or something. So we did sadly lose a blue one today, but we raised up the numbers on all of them besides the yells and purples and still none left behind. Um, that is something that I'm a stickler about. Uh, like sure, if I lose to fire water, all the other elements, like that's kind of like for me that falls under battle because i was in battle but if you leave one at sunset i feel like that's like your fault like 100 percent your fault <laughs> because like you aren't paying attention to how many pikmin you had at the end of the day so the president says hello i'm still on the lamb from lamb um sorry let's let's try that again hello i'm still on the lamb from debt collectors for the time being i've decided to live under the bridge but if they catch me i don't know what they'll do with me poor guy he's living under a bridge like a homeless person because he probably is homeless because he spent all of his money on carrots and the carrots are gone <laughs> so yeah in the next episode we will be returning to the uh, perplexing pool and taking on a new cave but it's not the shower room it's a different one so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode